What is up guys, your boy boy is back once again, and welcome back to Nintendo Month. Today we're going to be going over Nintendo's E3 2021 Direct. Now unfortunately, not a whole lot of exciting stuff was announced, not for me at least. I know a lot of you guys are so hyped for uh, Splatoon 3, which was announced at the last Direct, and uh, Metroid um, Dread. But I don't really play either of those franchises, so there's just not a whole lot of new stuff for me. But hey, I mean, the Direct came out about almost a month ago. I know I'm kind of late to the party, but hey, it's Nintendo month. And I am sort of hyped for some of this shit, so hey, why not talk about it anyways? Okay. Alright, let's get straight into it. Sorry about that. Um, Alright, so first things first, we got um, the new Smash Bros. Ultimate character, Kazuya from Tekken. Now, honestly, I don't really care about this all that much. I mean, I can kind of see why they added a Tekken character into the game. I mean, Tekken is one of the most popular fighting game franchises, but, I mean, really, the only, um, fighting game franchise I like outside of, uh, Super Smash Bros. is Street Fighter, so, honestly, I don't really care too much for this new entry. I'm sure some of you Tekken fans are hyped for it, but, eh, not for me. Okay, um, moving on. We got the new Worms game that was announced. Now, a lot of you guys may not know about the Worms games, but I'm sure for those of you who have owned an Xbox 360, you might have downloaded Worms on Xbox 360 Arcade, and I know I played it as a kid. So this is actually something that's quite exciting for me. I'm very, very glad that they're going to be um, putting a new game or re-releasing a game on Switch, and I most probably will download and play it. I got a feeling that this game is going to be download only. So yes, I will download it whenever it comes out. And I most certainly will play it, because, yeah, I have um, some a little bit of childhood nostalgia for that game because I enjoyed it back when I st still played Xbox 360 is one of the many awesome games on Xbox 360 arcade and it looks pretty fucking neat I'm not gonna lie so yeah definitely will be playing this and quite frankly I can't wait it's going to be amazing okay so um, this next entry wasn't really mentioned in the uh, direct, but I did see it on the release schedule that Nintendo posted in their community tab. Apparently, they're going to be releasing Doki Doki Literature Club on Nintendo Switch. This must probably also be downloadable, just like the Worms game. And, yeah... Doki Doki Literature Club is one of those games that I've been waiting to try. There's lots of games out there I've been waiting to try. Like, the one I just mentioned here, DDLC in Castlevania. Uh, Paper Mario series, so on and so forth. So I'm actually really excited to uh, download this game and try it out. I've really been wanting to uh, get into visual novels lately. And I think this will be my chance to uh, play my very first visual novel game. And honestly, I am low-key excited for this. I will be buying it, and I will be playing it for sure. <laughs> Not sure how well it's going to turn out. I heard from some people that DDLC is kind of boring. But hey, I think the story will um, keep me playing it. I think I'll keep playing it. 
due to the compelling plot and the and the player's choice factor. And plus you can uh, unlock multiple endings. So, yes. I definitely will check this out. And if I like it, then I might start to play even more visual novels. Alright, I'm finishing off the small announcements. We got um, the Zelda 35th Anniversary Game & Watch. Now, honestly, I may or may not buy this. I'm not really entirely sure yet. Apparently, it's going to have uh, the two original NES Zelda games on it. The Legend of Zelda and Adventure of Link. As well as Link's Awakening. And I'm talking about the classic Link's Awakening, not the remake, obviously. But I think I will buy Link's Awakening DX on my Game Boy, so I don't really see any point in buying this. If I do buy it, I'll probably just buy it as a collector's item and that's it. But, I mean, hey, like, I have a Retron 3, which, in case you don't know, is a console that can play Genesis, um, NES, and SNES games. So I could probably just get the two NES games for my Retron 3 and get Link's Awakening DX for my Game Boy. But like I said, if I do buy this Game & Watch, it will most probably only be for like collecting. It will be a collector's item, most probably. Alright, now then, let us move on to the big stuff. Okay, starting off, we got Wario Where to Get It Together. Now, yeah, Mar uh, not Mario, uh, Wario, he does exist in the Mario universe, but since he has so many games, I think it's safe to say that Wario has his own franchise, and as a result, if I do buy this game, it will not be going into my Mario collection. I won't count it into my Mario collection, because like I said, Wario, I think he has over like 20 games now. So, yeah, I'll probably just buy this game just to try it, because honestly, I never really tried any of the Wario games before, specifically the WarioWare games. I'm, most of those I haven't played. Heck, I don't even think I've played it at all. But, yeah, um, I will get this new Wario game just to check it out. It looks pretty cool. I mean, I guess I could try the WarioWare series. It seems pretty neat. So, I might buy it. I might not buy it. If I buy it and I like it, then I might try out more Wario games. But yeah, this here looks kind of cool, but honestly not all that much. But, hey, I might be willing to just try it out anyway. Just see what it's like. And like I just said, if I do try it, then if I try it and I like it, then I will um, play more Wario games. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> we got um, Mario Party Superstars. So I can't believe that. I've somehow managed to unintentionally avoid the Mario Party series my entire life. Now, I definitely do need to collect all the Mario Party games because, honestly, from what I've heard, these Mario Party games, they get people together and they get people to party because, from what I've heard, they're really fun games and it's probably really good for a family game night. So, I will try out this game. Not only to play it on my own, but if anyone else wants to play it with me, then I can play it with my family as well. And I believe this is the second Mario game, the second Mario Party game on Switch. So, yeah. 
I will try it in the hopes of getting people to uh, party with me, per se. And this may very well be my first impression on the Mario Party series. But really, the Mario Party game I've been wanting to try the most is Mario Party 4 on the GameCube. Because that was actually when Mario Party games was still pretty damn good. And all the maps and mini games weren't limited. And all the stuff like that. And they actually used to be really, really good back in the day. So, who knows, maybe this will be my first impression to the Mario Party series. Maybe it won't. If not, then it will probably either be the game I've been wanting to try the most, Mario Party 4. Or the other Mario Party game on Nintendo Switch, Super Mario Party. And finally, we got... Um, Mario plus Rabbits Sparks of Hope. I'm pretty damn sure this is a sequel to um, Mario plus Rabbits Kingdom Battle, which is probably the most underrated Mario game on Nintendo Switch. I mean, I don't know why they chose to make a sequel for this game out of all the Mario games on Switch, but whatever, it's fine. I saw the trailer, and it actually looks like it's going to be pretty damn neat. And it might give off some vibes of Super Mario Galaxy, since this game also takes place in space. And it might be the closest thing to a Super Mario Galaxy sequel that we'll ever get. Except it's Mario Plus Rabbids. So again, I don't know why they chose to make a sequel of it, but still, it looks pretty damn cool. And I am willing to... uh go out and buy this game, not only for my Mario collection, but also because it looks very fun and something that I might be able to spend hours on end playing. Because, yeah, honestly, it just looks that good. Now, if any of y'all are wondering about uh, the Breath of the Wild 2 teaser, I will be doing a reaction to that tomorrow, and... After that, I will have a Zelda theory coming out about Breath of the Wild 2. So stay tuned for that. Honestly, that does it for uh, today's video, today's review of Nintendo's E3 2021 Direct. Honestly, I don't think we got that many exciting announcements, but at least we got a few exciting announcements for this um, E3 Honestly, it could have been much better, but hey, like, like I just said, at least we got some exciting things. Well, at least I got to see some exciting things, because what's exciting to you guys might not always be super exciting for me. But whatever, that's it for uh, today's video, today's review of the Nintendo Direct. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the Breath of the Wild 2 teaser. And stay tuned. Let's try to hit 50 subscribers by the end of Nintendo Month. And if we can, then I have a special treat for you guys. Anyway, let's just finish off this video for good. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you all next time.